Dr. Melissa Goldberg Mintz. In my psychology practice, I work with kids, teens, and families who've been impacted by potentially traumatic experiences. I know that when a child has been through an upsetting or stressful event, it can feel overwhelming for parents. You're probably asking yourself questions like, is my kid traumatized? Are these new behaviors normal or signs of PTSD? And what can I do to make them feel safe again? In my new book, Has Your Child Been Traumatized? How to Know and What to Do to Promote Healing and Recovery, I will help you answer all of these questions and more. I'll show you what trauma looks like at different ages, explain why some kids exposed to the same event react very differently, and teach you how to help a child through trauma triggers. A trauma trigger is anything that pops up and reminds your child's body of the scary thing that they experienced. Here are three tips for helping your child cope with trauma triggers. One, make space, be supportive, and normalize feeling scared. Ask open-ended questions and make observations. For example, I noticed you seem nervous when that dog, dog got too close. This invites your child to share their feelings. Afterwards, offer some support. For some children, support might look like a hug. For others, words of encouragement might be best. Experiment with different supportive actions and see which feel the most natural to you and your child. Lastly, demonstrate it's okay for your child to feel scared. If you're nervous about an upcoming presentation at work, let them know. Next, develop a secret code. Your code word could be something simple, like tomato. Just pick a word or a signal your child can use to get your attention. Then the two of you can devise a plan to get somewhere where your child feels more safe. If you are somewhere that feels safe and your child is still triggered by something, say loud fireworks going off in the neighborhood, it will still be helpful for your child to only have to utter one word rather than explain the nuanced, uncomfortable process going on in her body. Next. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. This skill helps kids engage with their senses, which can help bring them into the present moment. When we're in the present moment, we're not ruminating about the past or worrying about the future. These five steps are easy to remember and can prompt your child to go through them almost anywhere, anytime they're feeling triggered. First, instruct your child to look around and identify five things that they can see. I see your green shoes. Next, four things they can feel. I feel this mosquito bite on my knee. Uh, next, three things they can hear. Uh, I hear a car honking outside. Two things they can smell. I am lifting up and smelling this candle. And finally, one thing they can taste. I can still taste the toothpaste I used this morning. I hope that you find these tips helpful. As I say in my book, parenting a traumatized child doesn't require therapist-level skills, sage-like wisdom, or supernatural levels of strength and patience. In fact, everything you need is inside you right now. The skills necessary to care for a child who has experienced an adverse event flow naturally from the parenting abilities and love that you already possess. I will show you how.